What's good in the mother hoodie? This is Chrissy H, and I'm back with another video. I guess I'm gonna have to call her back. I guess I'm gonna have to call her back. I guess we're gonna have to go here, London, Paris, and Montego Bay. So I'm guessing if you clicked on this video, you probably are going through the same that I'm going through. And I know a lot of people who know me are finna be looking at this video like. This is a video going to be talking about things that you could do to make a friend in college. You're in college, you know, this is supposed to be the four best years of your life. Like, and how are you going to have the four best years of your life if you ain't got no one to share with, you know what I'm saying? So like, friends are kind of essential and making friends are kind of a part of the new experience. So like, you might be the, you might be the type of person who could go through shit alone and do things by yourself and you know, have the ability to be dependent. And that's cool and all, but it's nice, it's okay, it's just nice to have someone to spend that time with. Yo, this list is, is something else. My first thing on the list, mind you, I just made this list five minutes ago and <laughs> some of these you just shouldn't take seriously. This is the old grand scheme, the OG move, the OG, old homeschool, home, home. Home skillet biscuit way, okay, I'm starting a conversation. You know, you write in, you write in, you're at class or whatever. Oops. Oops, bitch, I dropped the pencil. You dropped the pencil. I'm such a klutz. Um, can you get that? Can you get that for me, please? I'm sorry, I, I can't reach it. I'm just a big bitch. <laughs> oh, thank you. Wow. You're such a cool, you're such a good person. Like, thank you so much. There you go, you know, you just, you, you dropped a pencil, okay, you dropped a pencil or whatever, and you already start a conversation with somebody, there you go, boom, that's step one. Usually people drop pencils to get someone's attention, you know, if you want to get Daquan's attention in the corner because you try to him or whatever, but this way, you can drop a pencil not only for but for some friends, start a conversation. Say, oops, I'm sorry, I dropped my pencil. Thank you so much, you're so cool. Like, you really, you really nice for doing that, thank you. If you need anything, I got you, all right? You see, and like, this, this is gonna play it, okay? It's gonna make sense, just let me get through the list before you start asking questions. Number two on my list is ask someone for help on the homework. So let's say you drop in the pencil or whatever, and you know, you're saying thank you, you know, thank, thank you, bitch. And then you're like, ugh, oh, like, bruh, this homework is just so hard. Like, do you know, like, what did you, how did you do number three? You know what I'm saying? You mind helping me out? You want, you want to go study, you know, go to the library? So look at, <laughs> damn. But didn't you just drop your pencil though? Look, look at you, you making money moves. You just dropped your pencil, now you ask to help our homework. If you spot ass and then you could just talk about the homework like, oh, did you think this homework was easy? And if they say no, be like, bruh, bruh I got you. This homework was, this, I, I got you. This, this was easy. Lie. This is, lie. Lie. Lie if you have to. It might not be easy. But then you might just be like, you know what, let's struggle together. Then you go. You go to the library and you make a study date and then you go from there. Bam. Let's go to number three. <laughs> number three on my list is to talk about the teacher. Yes, I said it, yes. I made a couple of friends just by talking We all have a teacher we do not like, okay? Don't, don't try it, I know you don't. Mr. Rogers, yeah, I'm talking about him. I, all I gotta do is be subtle with it, you know? Just don't be jumping out talking shit. Gotta be subtle, cause you know, no one wants to think you're a in the process so just like the teachers always gonna say something stupid or like oh yo we got homework we gotta do read 60 pages tonight do all these chapters do all these pages in the math textbook and then you just you gotta groan a little you gotta be like all right class you gotta read chapters 1 through 50 to tomorrow <sighs> I'm a drug dealer. I got three kids. No, you a drug dealer? Man, I love, I, I love taking drugs. Yo, yo. You 
you go. You were just talking shit about Mr. Rogers, and now you made friends with a drug dealer. You got a pug on your team. And that's all because you just took the initiative. You guys both dislike the same person, and now you guys are friends. Compliment someone. You know, everyone loves to be complimented. You know when you go to a store like Target or Starbucks and you compliment the cashier you're like, Oh girl, I like it there. Boy, no waves, bro. I'm drowning in the waves. And then all of a sudden you get 10% off. Like, everyone loves to be complimented, all right? You can never go wrong with complimenting somebody, especially a stranger. And sometimes people just need it to like, have a good day. Some people need a compliment to get along with their day, to have fun, to feel good. Anyone could be having a bad day and you just made their whole entire life by giving them a fucking compliment. Oh girl, where you get them shoes? Bitch, I got them at Forever 21. How oh, they were on sale, 99% off. Girl, you have me telling them it's a Forever 21. I can never, you gotta show me where you got them shoes so tight. Girl, I'll be happy to show you where I got them shoes. Like, shit, let's go to Forever 21 this week. I'm free this weekend. There you go. You compliment someone on, like, their skin, their makeup, their clothing. Next thing you know, you're going to their dorm room, and if they don't kill you, they're going to help you out with how to do your makeup. So stuff like that. But sometimes you can't just say a compliment, because some people will just be like, thanks, and move on. Sometimes you got to be like, girl, how you do your makeup? Or, girl, where you got them shoes at? Girl... Where'd you get your hair done? Like, you gotta follow up with a question to push them further on with the conversation so that some way, somehow, you make a date with them or you share some contact information and you start off with a common interest and then it just grows on that interest but then it expands on to more things that you guys might have in common. So I learned from personal experience that you can't just be like, yo girl, you cute. And they say thank you and then that's it. But you gotta like follow up and push it. Just push it a little bit more so that you know you can get more information or you can get more in common with them. Like just push it a little bit and they'll start giving in and they see where you're going with it. Alright? Like, cause you're the one approaching them. So you're gonna have to be the one who does a little bit more work. You know what I'm saying? I mean, unless you meet someone lucky who's who's just splatting out information at you like Thank you, I got this effort. Like, you know, they might carry on the conversation, but for the most part, people are a little bit uncomfortable or people don't see where you're trying to go. They might think that you're just trying to drop a compliment and then keep it pushing. They don't really know your intentions. So, you know, just like that one extra question can really help them with like, oh, okay, this girl wants to know more about me and then, you know, go on from there. But you see where I'm going with this. Like, you gotta notice little things about other people that you might like, like what they're wearing, what they're talking about, what they're listening to and you just put just throw yourself into that situation throw yourself into a conversation like oh I'm sorry I couldn't I, I, I overheard you talking about this and I love it too and then BAM or like yo you listening to yo that's my jam and then y'all talk about the artist you know just like you know push it push it you know like we just you know, the next thing, sit with them at lunch. I think this is an important one because I sit alone at lunch and you might think no one's going through what you're going through. You might think that it's embarrassing to sit by yourself at lunch because majority of the people who are in the cafeteria have someone that they're sitting with. But look, I guarantee you there's at least one other person who's sitting by themselves at lunch, at the library. Maybe in class, there's someone sitting by themselves too. But aim for other people who's sitting by their lonely and you join them. Like, oh, is anyone sitting here? Let me, let me, let me just push it. You know, let me just sit with you, talk with you, engage with you, and eat with you. You know, like food is another thing you can really bond over. But I mean, you gotta sit there. Don't be awkward. Don't just sit there, but actually sit and converse with them. Like. Yo, what's goody, bro? Like, where you from? What's your major? Why did you choose to come to this school? Like, basic ass questions, and then you can talk for hours about life things. Like, you know how conversations just grow? They grow. Trust and believe it. If it's meant to be, if you're meant to be friends with that person, the conversation will grow. And if it doesn't, hey, 
If it doesn't grow in that situation, you're in the cafeteria, you're, not, you're in the library, you're not in your dorm room. You could leave after you're done eating, you could leave when you're done studying, and then you call it a day. You know what I'm saying? You're not stuck in that situation, like in an hour long classroom sitting with that person. You can leave whenever the f you want if it's not working out with you. So aim to target the people who are looking like they're just in the same situation as you. So, what? What we gotta do? Push it, bitch. Girl, I think the number one thing people think about is that they're the only person going through it. It's so easy to think, I'm going through it, I ain't got the one to talk to, I'm depressed. You think you're going through the by yourself and you really aren't. I promise you there are other people going through the same shit as you are. I know it's scary, which is why I haven't done any of these things. But we are on a mission together, okay? Like, let's just... We gotta put ourselves out there. Like, next thing on my list is invite someone to go out. So there's a lot of group chats. There's group chats for classes, like especially math. If you have a math class, I guarantee you there's a group chat. If there is not, then you should be the one to make one and people will God bless you. My whole class of 2022 has a group chat and some of my individual classes as well. My dorm room has a group chat and my floor has a group chat. So there's a lot of group chats that I'm in and if I wanted to, I could be like, hey, who's going to this class? Who's going to this party? Who wants to come to my room and watch movies with me or play Uno? Who wants to go do this? Who wants to go out to eat? Who wants to be my friend? Pretty sure 99% there's gonna be a group chat and then put yourself out there. Who wants to go walk to this class? Who wants to go out to eat? Who wants to go shopping with me? Like, there's gonna be people who are dealing with the same shit you are and are so ready to meet new people and want to hang out with you. And they don't even know you, but it's okay. Like, so do that. Trust me. It's the beginning of the school year. No one's found their real guarantee. That's my friend since college friend yet. And everyone's always open to be down ass people. So put yourself out there and. You know, meet up with somebody, invite somebody to do something. Yeah. Another thing you could do is be straightforward. One of the first things people will think about when you tell them like you're having a hard time finding friends is that they'll take the initiative to be your friend. Like, be straightforward. I, I try to have fun. I try to have friends. It's been a little hard for me. I have people we see on social media who go to our school and we think that they're a cool ass bitch and we never have a conversation with them. Like, we never. We never see them or they're always hanging out with someone else or like you can tell on social media though that you have the same interest and you never speak to them. Be straightforward with that person. Like you're really cool. I like the way I like what you say in class. I like your energy. I really f with that. I kinda have the same type of energy. Let's be friends. Like, this is my last piece of advice and this is like this is what you gotta do when you ain't got nothing else to do. Okay, this is the last straw when you just can't take it anymore. You, you, you're done with being in your room. You just ugh, like you about to you about to kill yourself type of thing. Like, just just follow them. All right, follow them. Be a stalker. You know, find out your target. Eeny meeny miny mo. Catch a tiger by the hoe and be like, boop, bitch. I'ma follow you. I'm following you to class. I'm following you to the lunch table. I'm following you to the library, and we just gonna be friends. You gotta do what you gotta do. Alright, that's my last piece of advice. You guys make a friend. <laughs> You're welcome. I really need to take my own advice, but I do want to help other people who have the balls that I do not have and will take the initiative to make friends. Like, you know what I'm saying? DM me on Instagram at hchrissy 2 ss and 2 vibes. Also follow me. If you smiled, if you laughed, if you chuckled, if you cackled a little bit, then please hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers, bitch. And I just want to make y'all laugh. I love you guys. And I'll see y'all in my next video. She the girl. She the girl. She the girl.